Another day of the draft, so definitely super excited about that. Um, got an opportunity to be able to go today, so just my close family here. Don't really want too many people here. Uh, I'd rather, you know, celebrate it with the people that's, you know, been in my life the whole time. And, you know, the only, it's only right to, you know, party and get it done with my party at 10. I'm just trying to enjoy the moment. You know, I'm the first one in my family to ever be in this position. So definitely just trying to enjoy the moment and cherish it with my people, my family, my mom, my dad. Um, my siblings, you know, I just want to be an example to them. So um, I'm excited, man. Like, I'm super excited, I'm super blessed, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to celebrate with nobody else. I think when my name gets called, I might cry. I might stutter a little bit while I'm on the phone with whoever calls me. Um, but man, you know, it, it means so much to me to be able to be here with the people that I love. You know, I, we, We've been through so much as a family. Um, you know, we've shared a lot with other people about, you know, where we come from, how we're not supposed to be here right now, how, you know, the struggles what my dad went through, what my mom went through when they were younger. Um, so it's just huge. It's, just, it's a blessing, and you know, I, I ain't got nothing but to thank God for it, honestly. When Henry watches this, what do you want him to know? I love that man. <laughs> When he watches this, I want to know how much I love him, but I think he knows that, and I don't think I need to tell him that because I tell him every time. No, I w and I'd like him to know that I'm rooting for him, and whoever makes the right decision to draft him, I need a jersey. Hank, you've always been a, he's always been a good person, always been a very respectful kid. Don't ever lose sight of the way that you were brought up. Continue to keep that strong foundation. I'm very proud of you and the man that you've become and the man you continue to strive to be. You know, you're a leader. There's a lot of kids that are looking up to you. Make sure that you remember them too as well. You know, a lot of eyes are on you. You got everything that it takes. There's not one characteristic that you're missing. You check all the boxes in terms of being a good, a good person. You know, best of luck to you. You know, I love you, man. Man, Tim, I mean, you my dog, bro. Uh, I mean, you know, we locked in for life. There's not too much to be said um, on that, but I mean, like I said, you're my brother for life, man. And I mean, I'm happy for you. I'm excited to see this draft, you know, find out where this boy finna be at, um, you know, in the world. But like I said, I mean, I'm just happy and proud of you, man. And I mean, I'm gonna keep praying for you and hoping, you know, like God, you know, is with him the whole way, keeping him protected. There's not enough words that can really express on, on how I feel and what I wanna say to Henry. Henry knows that mom will always be there but from now on, just continue to believe in yourself just as much as, as we did and I did. And believe in God that he's there. And I love you. Don't ever forget that. Henry, um, I love you. Be Henry. Don't be nobody else. Don't be somebody else. Be Henry Moses Ito Yese Toto. Be yourself. That's all I can ever ask from you, son. Proud of you. The Denver Broncos select Drew Sanders, linebacker. Dayon Henley, linebacker. Trenton Simpson, linebacker. Dorian Williams, linebacker. Ventrell Miller, linebacker from Florida. That's all right, we still got the Niners. Patience, brother. We'll be all right. Consistency catching the football. He can get the ball outside of the field. Just gotta get there. Just gotta get there. Hello. Henry, what's up, man? Coach, how you doing? Hey, doing great, man. Congratulations. Appreciate you. Hey, I appreciate you. Hey, excited to add you to the family, brother. Appreciate you, Coach. I appreciate you. <laughs> Same that here, Bama, man. for real. You know it, man. Let's do it. All right, I'll pass you on to our owner here, Mr. Cow. Henry. Well, how you doing? Good. Congratulations. I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. It's a blessing. We're excited for you and excited to get you here, put you to work. Oh, yeah. we got to get to work. There you That's go. the only way. There you go. Appreciate uh, you guys. Hey, y'all uh, celebrate with your family, and we will see you soon. Appreciate you. Appreciate you guys. Have a good one. Appreciate it. We're Texans. You going to Texas? Houston. <laughs>
being able to just walk out there and like finally get that phone call you've been waiting for since you were like seven years old, six year old playing this sport. Like you wait for that phone call and you wait to be able to talk to, you know, the GM, the owner, the head coach. Um, so it was just something that like I started tearing up. I don't cry a lot, so I started tearing up. Cause it's something that I dreamt of. And it's something that seemed so far away and seemed like so un unattainable when I was at such a young age. And to be able to just hear it and be around my people that, that have seen me work and grind and put all my blood, sweat, and tears into this sport um, to get me to where I'm at now, like I can't do nothing but, but just smile, man. Like be thankful for where I'm at. You know, seeing him getting his name called out was, was amazing. It was amazing to see a guy uh, worked 16 years of his life. Ever since he was six years old, he played ball. And all the trials and tribulations, heartaches and pain that came with that, and to see him be triumphant, to be a champion and, and, and fulfill his dreams. Man, what parent don't want to see their kids fulfill their dreams, right? Like, yeah, that's like the best feeling in the world. To see my son jump up and down and like, just, just the happiest, like he, he looked like he was six years old again. It's a great feeling to know that your child is living a dream that he's worked hard for. At the time we were waiting, you know, he felt like so many people doubted him, but this is nothing new. Go out there and earn your position. That's what I told him. I said, you got this. I believe in you. I know everybody who went before me, what round they went in, what team they went to. Um, and I, I don't think that's ever gonna leave me. Like that's never gonna leave my mind. And that that chip or that brick on my shoulder is gonna stay with me for my whole NFL career. It's just, I remember sitting there and watching those guys get picked. And the feeling that I had, and I don't ever wanna have that feeling ever again. And I, and I wanna prove, not to like other people, like everybody in the NFL, but I wanna prove to myself that I belonged that first spot of the linebacker or that second player that's supposed to get picked. Like, that's my goal. I have nothing to prove to nobody. I have everything to prove to myself that I'm, I'm the best backer in this draft. Look, turn me down and watch me level up. So show me height don't mean a thing because I get enough. This advice for my folks when they in a club. Take some time and realize another day mean a lot. I know the feeling when you run the ones you love. Do the thinking thing, you know what's up. Run around the situations only made us tough. And we started from the third, so let's celebrate. We up and just hear me say, I don't know where I'd be if I didn't have my team. To keep it real, we all we got, and that's all we need. Put your shots up, mine. Folks always keep it G. At All In Credit Union, you can score big with our fixed rate credit card. Look, who would have known? Cause this shit is like a miracle. They were scattered when I'm up, I see them coming close. I pray my dogs never snacking on me on the lawn. Get uncomfortable if they only in it for the dough. Times change and mama want me to do better. I can't swear the question is what I'm gon' get her. My pops been down that wrong road. So if I'm lagging, he'll be there to help me on board. Yeah, I admit that I fall guilty when it comes to perfection. Never